Romania playing against Israel in somewhat different circumstances from the game we've now seen. At uh, one stage of the game, it looked as if the players would have to wear water wings to negotiate one of the most treacherous surfaces of the week. But the opening goal, though, coming from Lakatus, 16 minutes gone. Romania, top of the group, determined to stay there. Beautifully judged past that. The Israeli players thought they might have been offside, but it certainly was in line, the opening goal there. The conditions dominated, of course, players finding it very difficult to keep their feet, to make any passing movements, which is the strength of the Israeli, and I must say, vastly improving Israeli side. All the pressure at the other end as Dumitrescu tried that shot. And the Romanians had learned the lessons from having watched uh, Israel play in previous games. They were certainly not going to underrate them. A vastly improved side from the one we saw playing in the World Cup qualifying group. They've organized themselves much better in defense. They're less naive there. They still play very good attacking football. They were missing in this game Rosenthal and Haratze. And coming in on the outside, with a little assist was Berkovic five minutes into the second half and they had pulled themselves back 1-0 again you could see Berkovic going right across the line there as the ball breaks back down here up he comes and there was a little deflection there from Prodan but we credit him with the goal The rain continued to pour down. The Israelis were finding it tougher and tougher. All the strength of stamina and brilliant moves. Montiano almost finishing that off towards Dumitrescu. And Dumitrescu's shot saved very well by Cohen. You can see from these pictures how difficult it was to keep the ball moving along the line. But Romania did as well as they did in the World Cup with some of this and awarded a free kick in the middle of that lagoon. Another free kick. Montiano, the man behind the ball. Gloriously driving it in. Romania were 2 1 up. Little deceptive run there by Lupu and at the back, Muntiano with a great left foot shot that Georgi Hadji himself, not available for this game, would have been proud of. And the breakaway is coming as Israel tried to break forward, but now we were getting the water follies. Little bit of aggro going on in this game, and it was eventually to end up with one very prominent player being sent off. Watch the retaliation there, the referee saw it. Rather naive one by Raduchoyu, and the player who is bound for Glasgow Rangers sent off. Quite adamant about it, the referee. And off he went, shaking his head rather ruefully. The retaliation wasn't as, uh, as vicious as some I've seen, but it counted for a red card. Watch it as he turns round. And he really put his elbow and shoulder into the player who made it look as if he'd been decapitated. And as the players splashed their way around here, Romania at this stage quite content to hold on to the lead, not to do anything silly. And a little phase there that almost resembled the Eton Wall game. Water, mud dominating.
And the crowd in the background whistling for the finish of this game. The Israelis had proved in Poland in the previous match how they could come back from adversity. And this always in the back of the Romanian minds. Romania, of course, had been down to 10 men, but there was a final whistle. And they retained their place at the top of Group 1.